You just want to raise your voice unto him and celebrate Jesus as we enter into the new year. Enter into the year with celebration. Celebrating Jesus, blessing his name, worshipping him, lifting him on high. For it is he that has brought us into the year. Raise your voice unto him right now in praise Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, we love your name. Lift your name. We need a house filled with praise. We filled with praise. We are filled Lord, we lift up your name. We lift up your name. We the hands filled with praise, hearts filled with praise. We are the most high God. Lord, we need you. Lift up your name. With me, there are with praise. We are called 
Le Marian de le Barakini Mazaza Kusa Kuteni Braza Babaraka Yala la 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 Barakini Baradolu Reki Yale Matemi Eka Suku Toro Barama Yala Deli Yala Baraki Yale Manati Yala Ndi Le Brizil Kusa Yale Barasari Yala Rama Kuteni Barama Yala Mina Kila La Puro Baraka Suteni Barama in the name of By the blood of Jesus, I welcome everyone into the year 2024. Amen. Amen. We are in it and going to be glorious in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we have entered by the Holy Spirit. We have entered by the great arm of the most high we yes. have entered by the blood of our lord jesus yes in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus and because we have entered by the blood i invoke the blood 
against anything throughout this year 2024 from this moment to the very last moment of 2024 whatever it is that is of the devil whatever that has been planned by the enemy whatever forces that have been assigned against you this year you and your family your children whatever that has been assigned against your health against your finances against your business against cbc whatever it is by the blood of jesus it is crushed in advance in jesus mighty name amen of darkness that will arise against us this year will be crushed by the blood of jesus amen Amen. Amen. that will try to speak against us our family in any way the force behind it the spirit behind it will be consumed by the consuming fire of the most high Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, by Amen. the blood, I forbid in your life and your family anything that is not God, anything Amen. that is not from God, is Amen. forbidden Amen. by the blood in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And in the blood, I decree that this year, 2024, your head will be lifted up by the hand Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. Your head will be lifted up. By the hand of God, Amen. your hand Amen. is lifted up, you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that covers men so that they, they will not have visibility. Whatever that blocks men's way so that their destiny helpers will not find them. Amen. This year, 2024, that will never happen in your life. By Amen. the blood, by the angels. I connect you and your destiny helpers. In Amen. The Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus, I Amen. fail of the enemy over your life, your destiny, your children. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 This year, may even unbelievers call you blessed. Amen. Amen. May even unbelievers testify that God's hand is with you. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This word with us from the beginning of this year to the Amen. very end of this year. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus. By the blood, there shall be no sorrow. There yes. shall be no pain. There shall be no loss. Amen. No disappointment. Amen. 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 In the name Amen. of Jesus. There shall be no bad news. Amen. 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 Mighty name in the in name the of mighty Jesus. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Glory be to our Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory be to our Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord Almighty, merciful Jehovah, gracious Elohim, Adonai, has ushered you and I into 2024. And the Lord said, our prophetic declaration for CBC 2024 is that the hand of God is with me this year. Amen. The hand of God is with me this year. The hand of God is with me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 That is what the Holy Ghost ministered to me. This year, 2024, he said, and I will show you my hand. The hand of God is upon my family. And I will show you my hand. Amen. I will show you my hand. And I will show you. So our prophetic declaration for the year is the hand of God is with me and my family this year. It is with EBC. It is with you. And that hand will bring us rest round about. Amen. Mighty name of jesus but like Amen. i said 
there are things we are going to know there are things we are going to walk in there is an attitude and and behavior towards god and the things of god that that will manifest that hand the hand is with us but it is one thing for the hand of god to be with you and it's another thing for that hand to manifest amen amen and so those are the things we are going to be looking into and the holy ghost is going to give us understanding and, and and he will be our help throughout this year in the name of jesus so quickly uh, let's 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 say a word of prayer as i just bring uh i will say a word of admonition to us and then god willing on sunday we go into the detail of the message god has for us uh, this year father we want to bless your name we want to give you glory we want to thank you we want to thank you lord when it comes to thanksgiving father we can never thank you enough you are so good so merciful so gracious and 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 we don't even know how to articulate your goodness towards us but father we say thank you once again you have brought us into the new year 2024 your hand is with us and you will manifest your hand in our lives in our life and i thank you father for every one of your precious children and i thank you for the plans you have for us this year and we thank you for your angels you have assigned unto us this year we thank you for the availability of the blood of our lord jesus this year and we thank you that anything of the enemy against us this year will never prosper it will never prevail in the name of jesus and we thank you this year no force of darkness can stop us because your angels are with us no impediment no obstacle barrier that your angels cannot move out of our way therefore by the blood i decree this year we cannot be stopped in the name of jesus this amen. year by your hand our heads are lifted up amen take all the glory take all the glory take all the glory yeah, we Lord. praise you thank amen. you holy spirit you thank have you. begun with us and you will bring us to the end amen. you are our help you are our comforter you are our teacher you are our everything holy ghost help us to experience practically your ministry in every area of our lives in the mighty name of jesus we give you all the glory in amen. jesus mighty name amen. Amen. amen amen the hand of god is with me that 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 should be your recitation order keep saying it until it gets into your spirit and you start working towards the manifestation of that hand the hand of the most high is with me the hand of the most high is with me but you see this is god god has decided to show us his hand but then there is something we are going to have to do or there is something we are going to have to give to god and 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 experience the manifest hand of the most high uh, which is what i have been saying many times in the book of proverbs 23 and verse number 26 he said my son give me the hand my son give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways if this will be our lifestyle this year precious one any devil that will come our way will be consumed by the fire of god amen my son give me your heart and then let your eyes observe my ways in other words you give me your heart and my ways become your lifestyle you give me your heart and my ways becomes your lifestyle and with this the hand of God will be so great upon you that even any devil will be afraid to come around us. This is the truth. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the truth. And it is so important for us to understand that we don't enter into a new year with desires for all kinds of material things as if that is what will make we possess them no you enter into the new year with the desire to pursue god that year with all your heart 
and because you are pursuing him <coughs> you can stand like david and declare that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me this year 2024 i'm not just reciting it it is going to be my experience because this year the lord is my shepherd he leads i follow my heart pursue him as the dear panthers after the waters so my soul longed after thee in the year 2024 as the dear panthers after the waters so my soul longed after thee O lord if this is our decision then i can promise you in the name of god you are getting ready to fly on the wings of the eagle throughout the year if this is your decision my son give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways you have you have you noticed how god never be my perfection from anyone never because he doesn't expect us to be perfect without him he knows in this human flesh forget it it's impossible so just as we are he knows our weaknesses he knows our shortcomings he knows everything in us but he said you give me your heart just 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 let me have your heart give me your heart and what what i will make of you give me because anything in my hands must be glorious must be glorified must be very great so will you give me your heart as simple as the question is it is also the most difficult thing for many believers to do and this is because egoistically man always want to do things the way he wants or she wants it it's, it's an ego in a man and and when i use the word man uh, you know it's, it's a metaphor a figure of speech i mean human you know man there is something in man that always make man want to have his way or her way or do things his way that is why it's so difficult for many people to make jesus their law it is one thing for jesus to be your savior it's another thing for him to be your lord in the book of luke chapter 6 verse 46 listen to what jesus said he said why do you call me lord lord and do not the things which i say he was their savior all right and when they called him lord he questioned it why do you call me lord and you live your own life you are calling me lord you do things the way you want you are calling me lord you you don't obey you don't walk in my ways my instructions that doesn't mean anything to you and yet anytime you are in a serious situation you come to me oh lord help me he said why are you calling me lord do you know what it means for someone to be your lord why are you calling me and sometimes when i think about this scripture i begin to wonder how many people are in church that only have jesus as their savior and not lord jesus as your savior guarantees heaven jesus as your lord guarantees your greatness on earth it's as simple as that you know so god has brought us into the new year and all he's asking my son give me your heart and and precious one I'm, I'm really really going to take time to go deep into this scripture for you to know that there are some things that until you even give your heart to him don't bother yourself doing it oh yes that there, there are deep mysteries <laughs> deep mysteries i always say why would jesus or why would God say there are some of you before you open your mouth have answered? It, it makes it look as if God is partial. Before you open your 
before you even open your mouth to request i have answered it already why would god say that and there are those that will have to fast 40 days 40 nights before they will they will have the means to 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 to, to get a shoe and there are those that just the thought they think about something and god answers it it's all about their heart towards god let me tell you we still have people in this world that have practically sold their life to christ nothing in this world means anything to them they have practically sold their life their heart to christ and unfortunately we we also have many people in church that are living as if they were born for this world their joy is not in their commitment to christ their joy is in acquisition of material things when they are able to get material things that is when they are happy that is when they have joy all those things are good but if those are the ones those are the things that motivates your joy then you've got something wrong that is why in churches we don't hear spiritual testimonies it's all about God did this. God, yes, we thank God for all that. But it's high time we begin spiritual testimonies. I thank God. I went out and I saw this person with the situation. I prayed and instantly the Holy Ghost intervened. I went to this place. This was going on. I spoke and God turned it around. Those are the testimonies we want to hear this year. But you see, unfortunately, the church has become so carnal that when you give such a testimony, people sit down and look at you as if you are stupid. But if you come and stand there and say, glory be to God. Last week, I bought a $5 million house, cash, the whole church. <laughs> the whole church will go crazy. And I'm not saying it's wrong, it's, it's good. But those are not the things that must motivate our joy. Okay. Remember when Jesus said the disciples and they went and they were, you know, they came back and said, hey, Jesus, when we went, even demons submitted to us and they were rejoicing. Jesus said, wait, 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 wait. you people, the basis of that your joy is wrong. You should rather rejoice that your names are written in the book of life. You understand? So, so look at it. But we are making it look as if you know spiritual things are not relevant that is why the devil seems to have his way in the church but i thank god <laughs> i thank <coughs> excuse me i thank god that by the help of the holy spirit He's going to use Christ Business Center to bring some spiritual realities and to bring some deep revelational knowledge, light upon nations. Because we have come into the era of light, knowledge, revelation. And unfortunately, it is also something that seems to have been grossly ignored by the church. By the church. Like I said earlier on, crossover tonight, all kinds of funny things have happened. The reason why many people who so put a lot of money down is because they are saying those who want to buy a house, those who want to travel, those who want to buy a car, those who want to own this, bring this money, sow this money. The angels say, bring this money. The angels, they will say all this nonsense. And because a lot of people, their heart is greedy for taste. They are so blinded that anything, I mean, uh, uh, they are so blinded to spiritual things and they are just there to satisfy their greedy desires, trying to use God to get what they want. And so nothing is taught about their heart. Attitude hasn't changed. Heart hasn't changed. Uh, a commitment to God hasn't changed. 
dedication to God. Nothing has changed. And they are telling them, bring money and God will do this. And you'll be shocked how many churches have even finished it by now. Because there are a lot of pastors, the reason why they like the first night is because it's a platform to take money. And I'm telling you by now, some are sitting there counting whether they were able to hit their target. All these things are going on. And God, like, like Paul by the Holy Ghost said, he said we should expose the works of darkness. This is no Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is no Holy Spirit. You know, but many people are flogging after it. Why? Because in the last days, men will be lovers of money more than God. In other words, men will love material things more than God. And the love of money, the Bible says, is the root of all evil. You will never fall into that evil in the name of Jesus. But let's watch it. My son, give me your heart. My son, give me your heart. My son, give me your heart. Never forget it. Never ever forget that. <laughs> Always remember that the beginning of 2024, the very first hour, the only thing God asks me is my heart. He's, he's not going to force it from you. He's not going to force himself on you. He's waiting. My son, give me your heart let your heart pursue me and not things and watch what i will make of your life because this year the hand of the most high is with me and quickly let me just before i end the message let me just touch a little bit on what happens to a man when God's hand is with him. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 18, 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse number 46, the Bible says, And the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab, to the entrance, entrance of Jerel, just Jerel, the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and what he did was beyond human ability. Ahab was in his chariot, four horses at a top speed, and Elijah ran on his feet, ran past the chariot. That is humanly impossible but because the hand of god was upon him it became possible precious one by the hand of god upon your life and your family this year you will be a wonder you will be a wonder just decide to give your heart to god and let your eyes observe his ways don't even bother about your shortcomings and, and your limitations. And God knows all that. Just give your heart to him. The way you have never done it before. In the book of First Chronicles 29, from verse number 11, I'm just rushing through it. The Bible says, In thy hand is power and mind. And in thy hand it is to make great and it is to give strength unto all. In thy hand is might and power, and in thy hand it is to make great. 
So imagine that hand upon you. In his hand is power and might. And in that hand, that power is to make great. So if that hand is with you, is upon you, what do you think will happen in your life? The hand of the Most High is with me. You are not just going to be saying it as a recitation. No, no, it has to be an experience. There has to be physical proofs. We must see and testify that indeed the hand of God is with you. It's going to be a spiritual. And you must be determined for that. In the book of Isaiah 41, and verse number 10, God said, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with my right hand. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. So you see God talking about his hand here. I will uphold, I will help you. How? I will hold you with my hand. So when we talk about the hand of God, we are talking about his power. We are talking about his mind. We are talking about greatness. We are talking about divine speed. We are talking of his help. When God says, I will show you my hand, all these things are involved. And in the book of Job 12, verse 10, Job number 12, and verse number 10, he said, In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Why is this? Why is it in his hands? The soul of every living, both human, animals, fish, birds, insects, whatever, anything that has life. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing? And so when God shows you his hand, is anything that is in this world, God is able to release it to you because everything is in his hand. And the breath of all mankind. So if God's hand is with you and somebody is bluffing that he'll do something against you, won't you laugh? Because the breath of all, all mankind is in his hands. The person can threaten you. Tomorrow, you will see what I will do. He will go to bed and God will take the bread from him. Now let him get up tomorrow and come and hurt you. You see, so when God says, give me my, give, give me your heart, precious one, it's a great blessing to us. Great blessing. When you fall in love with him, <coughs> He shows you his hand. When you fall in love with him, when you give him your heart, he gives you his hand. Don't forget that. When you give him your heart, he, the Almighty, gives you his hand. And in his hand is everything. In his hand is everything. And so, if the Holy Ghost says this is the year that we will experience the hand of God, the hand of the Almighty is with me this year, then I have to line up with scriptural demise that provokes and manifests that hand in my life. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. Amen. Glory be to our lord jesus so my prayer for every one of you tonight right now is that you will really 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 by the mercies of god you and your family you and your children will practically experience the hand of the most high in every area of your life and that hand will also crush anything that will rise up against you and your family. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to believe you have prepared your bread and your wine because I'm going to bless it. I'm going to bless it right now. So get, get your wine ready, get your bread ready. Even as we drink the blood of our Lord Jesus and eat his broken body the very first day of the year. And um, I'm just going to give you two minutes to, to get it prepared in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. And you are the Lord, and your name is glorified. Oh Lord, we give you glory. Oh, you are the Lord. Yes, Lord, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, oh yes, glorify, yes Lord, we give you glory. Oh, and I, Jesus, you are the Lord. Oh, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the blood of our Lord Jesus. Thank you for his broken body. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless the cup. Bless the bread. We receive it by faith as the blood of our Lord Jesus and as his broken body. Amen. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we drink the blood, let the blood of Jesus rise up and speak for us throughout this year 2024. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let the blood of Jesus speak better things in our life. Let the blood of Jesus arise and let Amen. the enemy be scattered out of our lives and family. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. Mm. And as we eat your broken body, Lord, we receive yeah. the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amen. Just as it was upon our Lord Jesus. We eat his broken body. Yeah. We receive it. We receive it. Yeah. We receive it. Yeah. it is our portion now. In Jesus' name, we receive it from our Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give you glory. Amen. Give you glory. Amen. By the blood 
everything of the enemy is forbidden throughout this year yeah. by the blood of jesus mm. everything is forbidden throughout this year mm. and father as we drink the blood in our bodies from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet in our blood in our heart in our lungs in our kidney in our liver in our veins in our bones anything cause sickness as we drink the blood of jesus they die now in jesus name they die now in jesus name Amen. by the blood of jesus i decree no more sickness in anybody's uh, body here no Amen. more sickness. no more sickness no more sickness in the mighty name of jesus Amen. no more sickness Amen. by the blood by the blood Amen. this year 2024 the blood of jesus will speak for us Amen. it will speak better things for us Amen. will crush anything that is of the enemy Amen. that has been programmed to disturb us to, to to hinder us to to put all kinds of things in our life it will be crushed by this blood of our lord jesus christ Amen. and as we eat his broken body we are unstoppable like our lord jesus Amen. we are unbeatable just like our lord jesus Amen. in the mighty name of jesus we and our household in jesus mighty name mm. it is done mm. it is done, mm. it is done. Mm. It is done. Mm. our stories have changed mm. by the blood our stories have changed mm. by the blood believe it our, as you drink it believe it our mm. stories have changed thank you father in jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. Drink it by faith. <laughs> Lift your voice and just give him praise. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Yes, sir, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Quickly, before we finish, I want to give opportunity to those watching us, those listening to the word of God, that have not given their life to Jesus yet. Yes, by God's grace, we have entered into the new year. But understand, until we see Jesus, nothing will change. Jesus is the only way, the only life, the only truth. He's the only one that can give us rest. He's the only one that can turn our lives around because he's the only one that paid the price to do it for us. So you hearing this message, you haven't given your life to Jesus yet, but you want to begin this year with him. You want to give him, give your life to him. With all your heart, just pray this prayer with me. Thank you, Father. Thank you that in that mercy you have brought me to the new year. Father, I thank you for your word. I believe Jesus Christ died and rose again for me. And I also accept that I'm a sinner. I come to you today. I ask you to forgive me all my sins. And with all my heart and with all my way, I receive Jesus Christ today, the beginning of the year, as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Father, that I'm born again. Thank you, Father, that I'm a member of your kingdom now. And thank you that your heart will be with me throughout the year. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. Hallelujah. Jesus mighty name and father we thank you for these special ones that you have called into your kingdom we commit every one of them into your hands we pray father wherever they are whatever country they are in your hand your hand will establish them in jesus name plant them yes, under the you choose to raise them up Amen. That at the end of it all, everything about their life will bring glory to the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for saving them. 
Jesus. Glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.